What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Quality Content Rich Channel. Today I'm going to be discussing what I've been investing in this last couple of years and how I plan on becoming a millionaire in the future. This is my private brokerage account outside from my 401k. Um, currently I'm putting about $500 a week in there. It's an automatic transfer from my bank account to the Schwab account. What you see here is not a Schwab account. This is just a, a Google Excel spreadsheet or Google spreadsheet. So I'm going to walk you through this and I'm going to show you my investments that I currently have and how long it's going to take me to be a millionaire if I continue investing $500 a week. So as you can see, it says I have $53,707. I think I have a little bit more than that. I think I didn't put some in here correctly. Um, the day's gains, $198. Annual dividend income, $1,892. Or monthly $157. It varies depending on which, which company is paying a dividend at that time. And so you can see the future value Five years from now, dividend income is six thousand four hundred sixty-one dollars. Ten years from now, it'll be thirteen thousand dollars in annual dividends. So let's go to my next page. Is the positions? So you can see here the positions I have and how much they're worth. So I got. I'll walk you through the positions that I currently have. ABBV. I have, uh, where's my shares at? Pause this, I can get right. So I currently have 15.12 shares of ABBV. I had to slide my thing over. And the average price per share was $151. That has a dividend, we'll go through the dividends here in a minute. Amazon, I have 15 shares of that. Average cost was $112. That does not pay a dividend. I'll never buy another share of anything that does not pay a dividend. Coca-Cola, I have 68.52 shares at the average cost of $60.27. Lowe's, I have 6.11 shares. Average cost, $195 a share. Uh, LYB, line double sell, I have 52.37 shares at the average price of $95.41. That pays a dividend. Lowe's pays a dividend. Coca-Cola pays a dividend. O, which is a realty income corporation, I have 67 shares, 67.66 shares at the average cost of $60.87. Tesla, I have 15 shares of that. Average cost $262. That does not pay a dividend. I probably won't ever buy Tesla again. Uh, waste management have 12 and a quarter shares at $155. Ford have 150 shares, average cost of $11.08. That pays a pretty decent dividend. I plan on buying more of those here pretty soon. Um, so I got uh, the ETFs, uh, index funds down here at the bottom. I have FLQL, which is Franklin US Large Cap Manu Manu Multi Factor Index. I have 15.3 shares at $43.96 average per share. Jeppy is JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF. I have 180 of those. I only bought 100, but the dividend pays out. And now I have 108 at $54.29 a share. Uh, SCHD is Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF. I have 22.31 of those at $73.60 a share. SPHD is Invesco S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility ETF, 25.58 shares at $41.62. Uh, I got VOO is a Vanguard 500 Index Fund. It's an ETF. I have 37.69 shares at $379.47 average per share. And the share is like $420 right now, $419 right now. So I bought a lot back when it was lower. That's good. BTI uh, is a Vanguard Total Stock uh, Mark, Total Stock Market Index Fund. I only have four shares of those. I plan on buying more of those here pretty soon. At $222.94 per share. Vanguard Growth Index Fund. Three of those. Little video. Three. $272.98. And XYLD Global S&P 500 Covered Call ETF. $52.30. A lot of these ETFs overlap each other. 
but I just wanted to get a good amount of different things. I plan on getting my, let me swap to the other screen here. As you can see, VOO, that is a good amount of my uh, holdings, the VOO here. Uh, I plan on getting that up to 50% of my holdings is where I want the VOO. And I want a few of these other ones to come up as well. I want Ford to come up as well. They have a pretty good dividend. Uh, future value calculator. Let's go over to that page. I can show you what it should be like however many years out. Let me get a little sip of my adult beverage here. Um, so as you can see, income after 10 years. If I continue on investing like I am, 10 years from now, I'll get $13,472 of dividends every, uh, every year. And after 20 years, I'll get 33,000. After 30 years, I'd have 64,000 just in dividends coming in. So I would continue to hold all my uh, investments, not sell any, I still get $64,000 of dividends coming in. This is a projection. If, uh, if I contribute, if I continue contributing 26,000 a year, which I'm doing now, $500 a week, 52 weeks a year, 26,000. Currently, what I have in my portfolio is a dividend yield of 3.52%. So if the dividend grows, if companies continue to uh, grow their dividend every year, a lot of them are a lot higher than 5% growth. I just put 5% here, be conservative. And if the price share, goes up 3% every year. So if you buy something at $100, then a year it's $103, that's 3% uh, share price growth. But a lot of stocks are doing better than that. So that's just, this is all hypothetical. So I'm gonna scroll up here a little bit and you can see what it'd be like after 30 years down here. I would have $2.3 million after 30 years, but I'm 42 now, so I'd have to do this until I was 72 to have 2.3 million. So I hit the million mark uh, in between the 18 and 19 years. Uh, 19 years from now would be a million dollars of holdings. So that's not bad just for a regular guy just investing. This is outside my 401k. So let me take you to my Charles Schwab account and we will see here what I'm actually, what it looks like inside the Schwab account. So these are my positions. These are all the same positions I read off to y'all a second ago. Um, as you can see, the ABBV is only 4.21% of my holdings. Amazon is 4%. Ford is 3%, Lowe's is 2.45%, LYB is 7.25%, O, Realty Incor, uh, REIT is 7%, Tesla is 6.7%. So I want, these are eventually going to grow as they continue to get more and more dividends invested. They'll continue to grow, but the weighted average should be the same unless I buy more, which I definitely plan on buying more of the Ford stock. So let's look at the ETFs. So not very much of the uh, FLQL, 1.3%. I need to pick that up a little bit. SPHD, I plan on picking that up some more. JEPI, I'm probably not going to invest any more in the JEPI. I'll just let it continue to build because I'm going to get a couple free shares every year just on reinvesting the dividend. Uh, SCHD is about 3%. I'm going to pick that up a little bit. The VOO, I want the VOO to be up at 50%. I want VOO to be 50% of my holdings. Uh, let me take you to my dividend page. It'll say investment income. So this is the 2023, what I got paid in 2023. So at the beginning, January, not very much as uh pull that screen down i had to pay 68 dollars and eight cents in interest to the company back then it was td ameritrade but now td ameritrade is bought up by charles schwab so that 68 dollars 
uh, an eight cents was interest paid because I bought something on leverage and I held it for a long time. I shouldn't have done that. But I only got $10 of dividends. That was January, February. I, had, I paid $55 in interest to the company. And I received $62 in dividends. March of this year, I paid $36 in interest to the company and received $144 in dividends. April, a little bit lower, $10, $10 to an interest to pay off that uh, that margin that I borrowed to buy some shares of nonsense. Dividends, $78. That was a waste. I'll probably, I'll ne most likely never buy anything on margin again. Uh, May, $0.66 six cents to p finish paying off that interest, $70 in dividends. June, zero interest to pay to the uh, company. I got $123 in dividends. July 23, $125.09 in dividends. Um, let me slide this over some more so you can see it. So July, I already said that. August, $86.70 in dividends. September, $143.73 in dividends. October, $154.09 in dividends. And November, I got $85.32 in dividends. And I got $0.40 cents in interest. I think that's because I held some cash in that account. So they paid me a little bit of interest on like I had 1000 or 1500 in that account. So they paid me a little bit of interest there. And then div uh, December, that was a pretty good month. I got $240.23 in dividends. So we can look at next year's projected dividend. Uh, Charles Schwab is projecting me to have, let me roll the screen over. They projected me to have 1000 $1,922.24 in dividend uh, 2024. So, and this will be what the payouts, I'm not going to go through the whole thing again. This will be for 2024, but hopefully if I continue investing my $500 a month, $500 a week, my goal is by the end of 2024, this $1,900 a year would be closer to $3,000 in dividend. I continue investing. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully I continue on my trend. I don't want any of the negative Nancy's trying to bring me down, tell me to stop doing what I'm doing. I have to, so I'm sacrificing $2,000 a month uh, by doing this. Do I want the new Corvette? Yes. Am I going to sacrifice my long-term goals to get short-term fun of the new Corvette? Probably not going to happen. It it looks like it'll not happen this year. Um, but that's that. There's another page I want to scroll through. And you can see the performance. Let me go through the performance of the of my account here. So it says... Your account had a rate of return of 4.22 from September 6th to December 30th. That's because TD Ameritrade was bought by Schwab. I already discussed that. So that's why it only goes to um, September 6th. And I, you, you can see on the left side of my screen here where I put my $500 in every week. And it goes up and up and up and up and up. And then right here it had a good gain. Right there, the market was doing pretty good. All my, all my stuff was going up. Um, so that's that. Just to make a little short video, so I'm gonna start doing these videos every week, discussing how how uh, well my portfolio is performing. And uh, you know, if you like it, give me some thumbs up, guys. Subscribe, hit the subscribe button, share the video if you like what you see. Uh, I'm not gonna let you borrow any money. So don't ask. I'm not a bank. Don't come at me trying to, uh, you know, borrow from me. All right. Well, I'll come back next week and do another update. Show you what I'm buying next week with my $500. All right, guys. Peace.